Welcome, pilots! This is my second video on the Caldera Union Day event, where I'll take a look at the Union Day Combat Challenge sites. If you're looking for more information on the event in general, you can check out my first video on the Hacking Challenge sites. For Alpha Pilots, I have some good news. While I'll first be showing footage flying a Hawk, I did manage to complete these sites flying a low-cost Korax on an Alpha character. So stick around until the end, where I'll review the Korax fit and discuss the tactics you'll need to survive as an Alpha Pilot. As this is a Caldari-focused event, I first decided to try out the Hawk. This fit takes advantage of the Hawk's bonus to maximum velocity for rockets and light missiles, allowing it to reach out as far as 18 kilometers with rocket launchers. As we'll be seeing later, while most of the NPCs orbit you quite close, a handful orbit at about 15 or 16 kilometers. Since you won't need a probe launcher to find the sights, I also fit a single 200mm autocannon for a little extra DPS. With two ballistic control systems, this puts the fit at about 195 DPS with regular Scourge rockets. Or 290 DPS with Tech 2 Scourge Rage rockets. I wasn't sure if a propulsion module would be needed, so I did fit an afterburner. It turns out this isn't really necessary, but it also isn't really hurting this particular fit. The fit has an active shield tank with plenty of capacitor support to make it cap stable. A small shield extender is there to provide a little extra buffer. I was concerned about the glaring EM resist hole, but while there is some EM and explosive damage, it turns out the majority of the incoming damage is thermal and kinetic. The hydraulic bay thrusters rig is what increases the range of the rockets from 15 kilometers to 18 kilometers. The Union Day Combat Challenge sites are cosmic anomalies, which also appear as beacons on your overview once someone has warped to the site. You'll land on an acceleration gate, which is restricted to Tech 1 or Tech 2 frigates, or Tech 1 destroyers. In the first room, there's a bundle of frigate and destroyer-sized rogue drone NPCs, with an inactive acceleration gate ahead. The scavenger NPCs will orbit tight at about 3 kilometers, hitting you with webifiers. The Dismantler NPCs orbit at about 7 kilometers, hitting you with energy neutralizers. And the Ripper NPCs orbit at about 15 kilometers, hitting you with target painters. Since my fit is somewhat reliant on the capacitor, I tended to deal with the energy neutralizing ships first. Once all NPCs have been destroyed, the acceleration gate to the next room becomes enabled. In the second room, you'll land amongst a bundle of Garista's NPCs. Again, you'll face similar E-War, and must destroy all NPCs before you can continue deeper inside the site. In the third room, you'll land amongst a bundle of Triglavian NPCs. Here, you'll again face webifiers and energy neutralizers. If any Kikimoras are present, you might want to deal with them first, as their DPS can become quite overwhelming the longer the encounter goes on. You'll again have to destroy all NPCs to continue to the fourth and final room. Here you'll land amongst a sizable collection of Federation NPCs. In addition to webifiers and energy neutralizers, you'll also face warp disruptors and remote sensor dampeners. Most of the ships orbit tight, except the molluses which orbit at around 15 or 16 kilometers. Taking out at least one of the molluses spawns the commander NPC in a Vexer. He'll hit you with all of the same E-War, along with blasters that do thermal and kinetic damage. The commander always drops a large bundle of Union Day reward tokens, and may drop other event-themed items like fireworks, boosters, or skins. With such a high thermal and kinetic resist profile, the Hawk makes the sight fairly easy. I felt reasonably confident that an Alpha pilot should be able to complete these sights. This is the Korax fit that I tried out, on the Alpha character that I used while producing my Caldari Frigates PvE guide for new players. It is worth mentioning that the character is taking advantage of the Caldari Union Day Expert System, improving some of his missile-related skills. You only need to log in and redeem this to gain access to it, and it will last for four days. The fit includes Meta Level 4 rocket launchers, with two ballistic control systems, giving it 155 DPS with regular Scourge rockets, or 175 DPS with Caldari Navy Scourge rockets. For the Korax, I went with a passive shield tank, fitting two medium shield extenders, a multi-spectrum shield hardener, and a thermal shield reinforcer rig. A Tech 2 ancillary current router rig was needed to ensure the ship has enough power grid. 
And to ensure the rockets reach far enough, the fit also includes a missile guidance computer and a hydraulic bay thrusters rig. The missile guidance computer will be loaded with a missile range script. Note that this module only needs to be activated when engaging NPCs at the outer range of your rocket launchers. While running the site, I definitely found my shield tank came under more pressure with the Corax due to its lower resists. It's helpful to take out the higher DPS destroyers first to reduce the incoming damage before it becomes overwhelming. You can start slowboating towards the next gate during the engagement. Though I did find myself waiting on the acceleration gates until my shield came back above 60%, and for good measure about 75% before entering the final room. It's worth mentioning that shields tend to have the best natural recharge at about 33%, so if your tank is getting significantly below that, you might need to think about warping out. The big test was against the commander, as you might expect. Switching to the higher DPS Kaldari Navy rockets before the commander appears is helpful, as is keeping moving in as perpendicular an orbit as possible. While my shield did get taken out right near the end, it was still enough to destroy the commander and finish the site. And that's all I have for the Caldari Union Day event. While you're out in Caldari space, you might be interested in my 13-part series on high-security Garista's combat sites. I have similar series for Serpentus, Angel Cartel, and most recently, the Blood Raiders. You can find all of my EVE Online content on my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. Thanks for making it to the very end, and I hope to see you back on my channel soon.